Right, so I've got to go in now, but basically we've done a little box ends on the timber there. We've put the timber soffits underneath. I've made a start on the UPVC there. We've done the UPVC on the front of this gable end there today. Finish that off. We've cut a couple for that bit there, but we haven't secured them yet. We've done this fascia there. And while I've been doing some of this work, Big Pouch has just been getting on with the gut room. We're replacing all the gut room with black because it looks a bit tidier. As so you can see there, he's done all the downpipe down there. And if you look over there on top of the garage roof, basically we've got the downpipe in black and then we run all the drainage off across the garage roof and into the gutter that runs along the garage down there. So it's another day, I'm going to get back on with the soffit board up on that rear dormer, so I'm going to get on with that now. Messing around with the soffits in there, Big Pouch has been fixing all this gutter up. Right, so we're slowly working our way around. We've got the fascias on both sides of the rear dormer up there and the soffit boards. We've done the fascia today on this one. We've done the gutter, get the drop on that. Yesterday we obviously painted that bit of wall. I put a little bit of mortar at the top to fill the gap, so we let that go off. Painted that um, this morning, that's dried off now, so I can start doing the soffit along this section here now and join that in. I've got to wait for some more materials for tomorrow so we can do that fascia. Um, obviously all the corner trims and that, like on these bits here, um, I got a few of those to arrive yet, but we're going to start doing those bit by bit, just finishing things off, so it's coming along. on the end bits of the uh, fascia down there putting all the corners on we've done these nice little box ends now you can see we've done the one over there as well fascias soffits now is all we're left to do is walk around here and we've just got to do a little bit over there on the rear fascia we've got to do that tomorrow when the materials turn up but all the soffits done over there now ready to be covered over um, this bit's all done, we had to cut a little bit around the flue of the boiler and then put a little connector plate over the top, so that's all done, so it's all looking good now. So it's the next day, we're back, it's just as well I did all that painting yesterday because we have had rain as predicted. We've got big pipes over here now, he's going to crack on with some gutters downstairs, nothing to do with the roof or the loft conversion, just while we're here we're going to change the gutters to black, give the house an overhaul. Um, obviously you can see that wall's not finished there, we're going to have to knock that off and give that a, a re-render at some point, probably in a nice lime render which we'll do um, probably few in another video at some point. 
Um, I'll quickly go around the back and just show you something I did yesterday. Okay, so looking up here, you can see where I've been doing the painting. I've got the paint halfway down the house there now, so I know I can work off that from a, a lower height scaffold if required. But by doing that now, it means we can start to put in some of the down pipes, get on with a few other things. You can see where we've done the soffit up there. We've got to do the fascia later. That's our rear dormer up there. So we're going to do those fascias once the windows are in, because we need to do the soffits up to those. I've probably explained that before. A few little things to finish off today. But for now, across this back bit of the house here, big pipes is just trimming a bit of felt down. Because while we're here as well, giving a bit of an overhaul, um, we thought we'd slip some felt support trays underneath there. Uh, the reason for that is this roof was actually done by a roofer a good few years back, um, and he didn't bother using them then, so we're just going over and putting those in just for belt and braces. So uh, let's set this up, and you can watch big pipes change the gutters over. For a delivery we got a big pipes over there on the painting we're going to try and get this wall painted up now while we're waiting and then hopefully if all the uh, materials arrive in time we can finish off this length of gutter we'll finish off the downpipe gutter there we'll finish off the fascia at the top and the gutter at the top and then that's pretty much the lot done then um, other than the windows Now we've joined back into next door, that's the gutter done, we've put a little shoe there, turned it back out, just hidden that under the lead, and you notice in there that I did the same as the other side, put like a, a kind of lead soaker I guess, which I nailed to the timber fascia before putting the UPVC on, and that just means that the water then, if anything does get down there, which I doubt it will, will just run off down the roof. Right, so it's actually a new day now. I film nothing today because I've literally been doing bits and bobs. I've been finishing off painting the odd windowsill. Um, I've put the odd little bit of gutter back in. I replaced a bit of gutter. We got sent the wrong bit from the building merchants and it sort of fitted, but it was loose. So basically I replaced that. They turned up this morning. So I've been doing odds and sods. I've been washing the my little roof downstairs with the old Velux windows. Nothing to do with the loft conversion, but where the scaffold has been on it, it was disgusting. So I just gave it one last final clean. I've been tidying up the scaffold getting rid of all the mess because hopefully some point um, next week in about three or four days the windows will be coming I'm not fitting those myself I could have done but I've got to get on with it the scaffolder wants the scaffolding so I'm going to pay for a price for uh, the windows and fitting and then once they're in I've literally just got to go around finish off the soffit board on the two dormers which will basically butt up to the windows which is why I've got to leave that Anyway, I'll go around now and just show you quickly what we've done, all the guttering, bits of fascia and whatnot. So you can just see, and this is pretty much other than the windows, the last final bit, then a bit of soffit, and then that's the outside done. That'll be me, and we'll be back on the inside for good then. So a quick recap. Rear dormer, we're not putting gutters on there, no need. The roof's so small, we're going to let the water run off onto this roof. So those are done on the fascias. Um, the front fascia, I can't think now, you don't call it that, but on the gable end, they're cut, they're inside, ready to go. Same as the, the soffit underneath. I can do that once the windows are in, but all the timber's on now anyway, other than that little last bit, little butt up to the window. So that's that sorted. We've got exactly the same on this side dormer. I've put in one length of soffit board there, timber, but once the windows are in, we're gonna have to fill it up with a thin strip, and then same again, put the UPVC uh, soffit underneath, and then fascias over the top. Again, the fascias, I've already cut those, so they're inside waiting to go, so that should be nice and simple. Obviously we've seen in the past, all the gutters are on now, gutter all along there. On the, the front of the house we should have a gutter down going onto the driveway, but I don't like that because I had my driveway done a few years ago and uh, I don't want water running over there, so I had it diverted onto the garage. Um, so anyway, so it comes around the corner there. If you look down at the garage, I think I showed you before, we've actually taken it into a pipe there, big pipe to this. 
curl it out and by using um, a, I don't know, 89.5 degree bend, basically it's the same slope as my garage roof. So that just slopes down right through a tube here then and it just turned off down there and back towards me in the gutter that runs along the garage. So that's brilliant. So the garage roof isn't getting any water on it at all now from the, from the gutter, which is good because it's an EPDM um, roof. Excellent roof, but you don't really want to be concentrating a, a point source of water in one place because you'll probably find it'll start to, I don't know, just lift and the adhesive may come up underneath, you know, just because it's getting cold all the time. It's just not good for it. You're better off keeping it dry. But that roof, a few years old, I got some footage of that, which I may try and show you. It was in the early days before my channel was up and running. So if I can drag something out, I might try and do a voiceover on that, on the bits that I've got. Anyway, I filled up the ends with the uh, cement of the corner ridge tiles. You saw me do this one the other day, by here. Um, we've obviously done this end roof, this has been a big job. It's taken us about, ooh, when do we start? Last week, so it's only taken us a week, but we have been going more or less flat out with that. And this was start to finish, insulation. Uh, well, we ripped the old slates off, put the insulation in, new felt, and we built this overhang, which we mentioned, because obviously this house just used to go flush uh, straight up there. Um, so yeah, nice little overhang there, that's worked out nicely. We've got a nice little box ends there, which Big posted. One on the end there, one on the end there. Um, so yeah, that all looks lovely and neat now. Coming around here, exactly the same. We've done our gutter now on this side, connected up with next door. Um, had to use my joints here, because I'm using Brett Martin guttering is what the building merchants have supplied me with. Now they are not compatible with Flowplast, but they're slightly bigger. So if you use the Brett Martin joint, you can sit the flow plast inside it. If you do it the other way, you won't actually get the Brett Martin gutter into a flow plast clip. It'll just sit up slightly, so there's always a risk of it leaking. But that seems to have worked okay because we've had a lot of rain and there wasn't one leak. Right, so that's that sorted. Again, I've just done a little shoe there to run out. A lot of people just drop those straight out, which I'm sure is fine, but I just didn't want it going straight down on the slate to fire it out towards the gutter. And then we've put this gutter in here. I know none of this bit is part of the loft conversion, I just thought it might be interesting to show you. I finished this off this morning, I've got my downpipe there, and that goes down there into the drain. Then we've got that rough bit of wall downstairs, if any of you have seen my previous videos, you will see I did um, one on some damp. Now I've never actually, I've rectified the damp by taking the render off and lowering the path down there, but I've never done anything with it, and I think I've got a plan for that, so that's another video. There's you look down there on the roof downstairs again, nothing to do with the loft, but I've just been giving the um, the Velux windows there a really good clean. All this roof was stinking, so I brushed it down, I've washed it. We put that new length of gutter across there because we used to have white, um, so I've just replaced everything basically all to be matched in. And the other thing I've done then, as you come back around here, I've given the windows all a clean today, and you can see I painted the window sills brown there, one below brown, because they're the old, um, they're basically roof slate sills, or roof tiles. The rosemary tiles, you can see there. So I painted all those brown, cleaned the windows. The other thing you can see is I've given all the scaffolding a really nice clean. There's nothing left up here now. Same on this side, all nice and clean, ready for the scaffolders to take it away. And I'm hoping they're gonna give me a few more days so I can get these windows in and then they can help themselves. So apologies, these videos are getting a little bit bitty at the moment, but that's just the nature of doing a loft conversion yourself because I'm trying to live here. I've been trying to put off the things that don't need doing right to the end. You know, things like the guttering and that, we've just got to get it done now because I've basically given the house an overhaul as well. So nothing to do with the loft conversion, didn't have to do that, didn't have to reslate the whole roof. But basically, while I was up here, I think, may as well do it now because, you know, do I really want to be coming up here again in 15 years to do all this? Probably not. So just do it all now and that's my lot done. Right, so it's a new day. We're back on the roof and today should be the last day working on the outside. And now I'll show you why. Because that little beauty is in and so are the two side windows as well. So I'll go and show you those now. All right, so here's the side windows. As I kept explaining to everyone, but probably no one knew what the hell I was talking about. They've gone with the shape of the roof there, so right up to the top. So we've got a lovely view out of there. And really today's work on these windows and the one on the rear dormer is simply finishing off this soffit board into the window frame, the timber. So we're gonna cut that down to size, fit it into place. Same there, same on the rear dormer. And then we're gonna be going over with all the UPVC soffit board. We're going to be doing the box end with the fascia and we've got our pre-cut fascias which are actually in the loft at the moment. I'll bring those out after and we should be able to tack those straight on and uh, by the end of the day hopefully this will all be done. And if you just look over there at the rear dormer it's exactly the same. I've got that little bit of the back to do in timber, then a UPVC soffit board, fascia over the top 
and that is pretty much it so uh, fingers crossed so there's not going to be a lot of explanation today because it's pretty straightforward it's just cutting timber to size screwing it in we're going to be cutting the upvc to size screwing it on nailing the fascia board just like i've done on the rest of the roof so i'm probably just going to speed this bit of the video up show you exactly what i'm doing and i'll give you a quick overview at the end because like i said this is the grand finale on the outside technically today um everything's done i've painted the house new gutters ridge tiles slates felt insulation the whole lot including the bits that haven't been on the loft conversion i've even put gutters downstairs if you've been seeing me doing previous videos not specifically the loft conversion i appreciate that but i thought i may as well show you while i'm doing it so the house has had an overhaul and um, like i said hopefully i don't have to touch the thing for another 20 years <laughs> Again, now I did say that yesterday was going to be the last day up here, but nothing ever goes to plan, does it? So I'm up here now at seven o'clock on a Sunday morning. I've got to get this finished in the next hour because I'm off out, and this is definitely the last day. Just to show you quickly what I did yesterday, I was just doing those box ends. So we got the uh, the front faces on the soffits underneath, all the start the trim for the soffits, 
and then these little box ends they're just fiddly I saw and I got to use the sealant and this rear dormer is a pain because standing on these slates is just a bit tiring when you're up and down and measuring up so I did that one first and then I had to move over here onto this side if you look at this side we're almost there I've done that one over there I've just got to do this one now, put a few bits of um, new PVC on and then put my corner trims on but I was two corner trims short so at 9 o'clock I'm going to pop down to tool station, get the corner trims and that should be the final job. Ends done, fascias, soffits, middle section, corner ends here, that's why I just had to go and buy them from tool station, so that's all done now. I've done the dormer over there, I remembered a bit of sealant they had to do, and the strip up the middle between the two fascia boards on the central bit, so that's all that sorted now. So one final once over from the scaffolding, because it'll be going down next week, so there we are, velux, windows, soffits, fascias. Ridge tiles, new slates, new gutters, absolutely everything done in the front of the house here. Painted, the whole house is painted. Go all the way around. So we did this bit which wasn't part of the loft conversion. And there we go, I can't show you the other side because obviously there's no scaffolding in the front there because he's had that bit. So there we are, I've become quite attached to this scaffolding now. But I'll tell you what I think we'll do is when he takes it down next week we'll have one last look around from the ground so we can see it from the outside and, and see what we've done. So there we go, that is it from the outside. So next time I see you I'll probably be down on the ground looking at the outside and then following that we'll be back inside making a start on all the things I need doing on the inside. I guess a bit of plasterboarding, possibly the stairs first, who knows, we'll see what happens. I'm meant to be off to the caravan with the in-laws in half an hour so um, I managed to end up here on a Sunday morning. This was meant to be finished yesterday so I better get going. Ta-da!